I have an apparatus here that is going to make me some liquid oxygen. It's a very cool material, uh, obviously. Haha. <laughs> In any case, what I'm going to start with is from liquid uh, nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen, I'm going to pour in this cup here. What's inserted, of course, is these copper coils, which I'm going to use to condense the liquid oxygen into. Since liquid nitrogen is approximately negative 196 degrees Celsius, and the condensation point, or boiling point, same temperature of oxygen, is approximately negative 183, I believe, then what's going to happen is I'm going to condense the liquid oxygen. So it's cold enough for the liquid oxygen to condense in because of its um, uh, warmer temperature. Its condensation point is higher than that of liquid oxygen. So in any case, what I'm going to do is take some oxygen, okay, which is in this tank here, and I'm going to pump it, okay, via this tube into these coils where I'm going to sit liquid nitrogen that's cold enough to condense the liquid oxygen and it's going to um, pour out into this cup we should be seeing a nice light blue color if we're successful okay so let's go for it I'm gonna put some liquid oxygen here and and once I'm gonna do that I'm going to uh, turn on the uh, oxygen tank and push some oxygen through so let's pour some I don't think my flask is a hundred percent. All right, so I got some liquid oxygen. I have my nitrogen. It's going to turn this on. And at some point, we should be seeing some oxygen coming out of that tube there. And I'm starting to see some. Let's get a little closer. You see, it's just starting to appear. And we're definitely producing some liquid oxygen. I guess we'll get a close up once we make some more, but we definitely have some production of the oxygen. It's already showing me that nice light blue color. I'm using a fire tube, thick wall test tube. That's uh, in Pyrex, a little boron added to the silicon dioxide. And we certainly are making a good amount of oxygen at this point. To hear it. All right, let's get a little closer view. And there it is in all of its glory. Very cold, obviously. And it's got that light blue hue to it. I'm not sure if it's coming through on the video. Okay, I'm going to separate this. There is my liquid oxygen. Let's take that out. I'm going to re-pour this. I'm not sure if you can see that nice blue color, but you will in a second. I think you can. I'm going to pour this into a test tube above. All right, let me get a glove on. I'm going to pour this into a test tube above to show its paramagnetic properties, which is very cool. I mean, there's a bunch of other things we can do with that. But, so let me take some of this. Okay. And I'm going to pour this into a test tube I have hanging in the front of the class here. Without trying to pour. And there is my little liquid oxygen boiling in all of its glory. Nice light blue color, and to show its paramagnetic properties, very nice little demonstration here. I'm going to grab a magnet, 
Okay. I'm going to show you that it's attracted to hopefully a magnetic field here. There we go. Very cool. There's an unpaired electron in its anti bonding orbital that, if you learn about MO theory, explains the, this property of oxygen. Got a neodymium magnet here that's clearly attracting the oxygen. Can't explain this in valence bond theory. All right, so nice way to use liquid nitrogen to show and, and teach with MO theory if you get that far. Certainly, we can drop a splint in here and see what happens there. And of course, the rate of reaction will be very high. But I'm going to stop here. Hope you enjoyed that.